guys, this is Dr. Bass from the Endless Fair Forum and today I want to show you how to disassemble this Makita battery pack. Um, as you know, I received uh, a few emails uh, in the last month about uh, how exactly, what, what is the best way to disassemble these and save time. Because Makita over the uh, last years improved their uh, battery design. They are now more strong and robust. But um, they had to change the inside because, as you know, the uh, outside never changed uh, since about 2006 or something like that. But the inside have changed quite a lot. Uh, at the beginning, they had some problem with the uh, spot weld. There was only two spot weld per cells, uh, per uh, per side per cells, and uh, mechanically this was not good, and they had a lot of problem. So now they have four spot weld, and they use um, uh, thinner. Um, uh, nickel sheet between the cells uh, so uh, this is flexible and uh, this resists to uh, vibration so uh, the new design associated to that uh, uh, is a little bit more complicated and uh, to extract the cells uh, and to separate them inside is a little bit more uh, difficult but I found a great way to uh, do that and save you a lot of time so when you will uh, build your big 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 battery pack for your e-bike uh, it will be easier Okay, so first you will need a battery pack and those tools. So in this case, uh, my favorite tools are the uh, Dremel for cutting the link between the cells with the really thin disc. In this case, I use the uh, 1 64th of an inch thick disc. A uh, couple of screwdriver, screwdriver uh, flat screwdriver. I use one small and one uh, larger. Uh, this is to pry the uh, plastic shell. The um, Phillips screwdriver. This is to remove the screw on the top of the BMS of the battery. This drill bit. This is to drill the hole. Uh, the uh, plastic cover that uh, hide one of the four screws to disassemble the battery. You will need a Torx 10 thief proof uh, uh, Torx bit. So you can see here there is a little hole in the middle. So this is the thief proof uh, version and uh, I use this one with the drill. It goes uh, really fast instead of using a normal screwdriver. And as well, uh, protective glass because the Dremel uh, disc is fragile. So um, that's all for the tool that you will need. Okay, let's open it. So. You see there's four holes, one, two, three, four, and one of those have the white plastic cover, just like they don't want us to disassemble these back. However, we are able to, so we'll prove we are able with this drill bit. So um, in this case, I will use drill, slower speed, and the goal is not to shave with uh, the edge of the drill, the uh, white plastic. What you want to do is just for about half a turn or one or two turn to dig into the plastic uh, by forcing a lot on the, the, the plastic. So just take a look on how I proceed. So. Okay. As you can see. Right here, I have now access to the hole inside. Wow, I just want to remove the top of the plastic. All right, and now I can use the torch 10. And reach the screw and untighten it. This is the little BMS here, and you can see there's a screw here and one here. You need to remove those. I'll use the screwdriver here, just like this. All 
All right. Okay. So now we'll open it, and you have access to the cells and the nickel link with those four spot weld here. Okay. So the goal will be to cut a line just on the edge of the circle here. You can see here, all this way. Do the same on the bottom here, and then on the top of the second row, and on the bottom of the second row here. Okay, and then we will cut between the cells here. So I will show you an example and the drum all and the glasses. Okay, so you see the four cuts, and then I will need to cut right here between the cells. So I will do that. As well as you can see the goal is not to cut the cell is to cut the link so you have to pay attention to not go too deep and uh, it should work well so I will use the screwdriver here to cut to uh, apply all these and remove the unwanted part so I will do it you see these can be removed pretty easy just this way separate from the BMS and just like that you can use a plier too it might be uh, goes well just pay attention to cut you not cut yourself because uh, these are uh, sharp edges so you see what you want to go to to get is this result okay and then and then what, what you will have to do is to take one side and just Apply it this way, okay? Just one side, it's enough. And then we'll be able to remove those. But you can also take the other side, this way, just like that. And you do everything like that on the cells, and you will do that on both sides. Okay, so when you uh, finish this part, you see, you have all these link just apply vertically and before doing that or just after i forgot to mention you'll have to remove the two screw there is one here and one here in these holes these screw are uh, attaching together the top part and the uh, lower part together because those can be separated but before doing that you need to remove the screw and remove the link that uh, um, block the cells from be pulled from this plastic part okay so we'll remove the screw here well i'm not sure if it's on that side oh the other side just check before 
Okay. So. And the other one. And there's still two link here, but these are not for the screw. These are for uh, these are made of plastic, and you need to drill through these with a drill bit that is about I will say this one is well I don't have the number it's a little bit higher than one eighth of an inch okay so All right so let's drill a little bit into these okay Right. Okay. Now it's done. And now you'll be able to separate those parts of plastic right here. What is this smart one? The four first and all right. Might need to remove the little EMS first. So, yeah, just like that. Let's get some place for work. And, okay, you can see here. And that's it. You have access to the cells. You see? And what is nice with this new revision of the pack is that they add this little uh, gasket. This is a seal. And this is to prevent moisture from going to the uh, negative shell, uh, conductive shell, to the positive right here. When you remove these, you see, um, Makita had problem with moisture going right here. So it installed this uh, shield and it solved the problem. Now it's time to do the exact same with the other side. Okay, so when you finish cut, you get this result. And then you need to apply all these to be able to extract each of the cells. Okay, I just finished with the screwdriver to just apply all of these uh, nickel parts. And now, magic, you have beautiful cells like this. You have between 8 to 10 good cells of uh, average in these packs. And what is nice is that you don't need any spot welding equipment. You can solder on the nickel by just lying one on the top of the other just like that and I just do this to plane this and now you have a nice surface to solder on which will conduct a lot of current because it's four strong spot weld and you can do that on both sides just like that you can see so that's all for the disassembly of the Makita battery pack. It took me about, I would say, uh, to be fair, it took me about uh, seven minutes of job per pack. Um, and uh, with this video, you can add the explanations. Uh, so uh, yes, uh, just if, if you go an afternoon and uh, well, uh, begin that work, you can easily achieve uh, about 200 cells, pretty easy. Um, it's uh, less work for cheap battery and uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, great video. Thank you. Bye-bye.